All right, guys, we're out here at this uh, little pond, and uh, we were walking along the shore, and uh, there's a, a little turtle swimming in the water, and we managed to grab it. It is a uh, eastern painted turtle, or Chrysemys picta picta. Uh, the word picta comes from the uh, the uh, almost picture-like paintings on the shell, or the plastron. So uh, yeah, the, this turtle is very aptly named because of its uh, colors and stuff. Um, they're pretty easy to identify. They have a olive green sh uh, carapace, a nice yellow plastron. This one's a little dirty, and uh, they have a lot of red on the the marginals, which uh, is pretty uh, distinctive. Um, an interesting feature of this turtle is that the, uh, the scutes on the front actually line up in a straight row. Usually they're uh, they come together and at different angles, but it's actually straight across which is unique of this species and uh, other painted turtles. Um, this is the only species of painted turtle we have in North Carolina. There's uh, other species elsewhere like the Midland Painted Turtle and the Western Painted Turtle. But um, yeah, pretty cool turtle. It's got a, a, a little bit of a deformed shell on the back. I just noticed that. Um, the belly is usually a plain yellow. This one's got a little black uh, markings on it. I don't know if that's just dirt and stuff, but um, you can see very beautiful red stripes on the arms and uh, on the tail it's got nice little red stripes it's pretty neat looking so yeah it's pretty cool uh, they get about uh, six inches long I believe I think they get about eight inches eight inches maybe um, uh, they're not very big turtles they're actually kinda small and they usually feed on insects and other stuff in the water um, so yeah we'll probably let this little fella go take some pictures the, the head is usually striped and colored with pretty things but he won't show his little head so yep that's pretty cool uh we'll see you guys later